let's talk about our favorite uh corporate overlords disney yes this is actually big news um so this will probably be a clip hint hint uh <laughs> disney has purchased a 1.5 billion dollar stake in epic games and teamed up with the company to develop a new expansive open persistent and social universe that will in uh interoperate with Fortnite and let fans play watch shop and engage with their favorite characters and stories from disney pixar marvel star wars avatar and more the news was revealed during disney's uh first quarter quarter one uh fiscal year 24 earnings call and it was announced that this new experience built in unreal engine will let players create their own stories and experiences express their fandom in a distinctly disney way and share content with each other in uh ways that they love our exciting new relationship with Epic Games will bring together Disney's beloved brands and franchises with a hugely popular Fortnite um, in a transformative new uh, games and entertainment universe, says Robert Iger, chief executive officer, and also big time dummy of the Walt Disney <laughs> Company. This marks Disney's biggest entry ever into the world of games and offers significant opportunities for growth and expansion. We cannot wait for fans to experience the Disney stories uh, and worlds uh, they love in groundbreaking new ways. Disney has one of the as one of the first companies to believe in the potential of bringing their worlds together uh, with ours in Fortnite, and they use Unreal Engine across their portfolio. Said Tim Sweeney, CEO and founder of Epic Games, and liked the tweet of mine one time. So we're best friends. Um, now we're collaborating on something entirely new to build that persistent, open, and interoperable ecosystem that will bring together the Disney and Fortnite communities. Disney was one of the first companies to believe in the potential of bringing their worlds together with ours in Fortnite. Is I think that's that, true. Uh, well, there were a lot of like Star Wars and Marvel characters in Fortnite, like towards the beginning when they started doing all that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I guess so. They're one of the big ones for, for sure. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, this is very strange. I'm a little concerned about this. It, it it's giving me uh non flashbacks to the EA partnership uh with uh uh Disney and oh, Star, with the Star Wars, Wars stuff with the Star Wars license yeah. specifically. Now it's all of Disney. See, I feel like that's a little <clears throat> different. That was them they basically just farmed out Star Wars. They were like, here, yeah, they, you they do said, something with this, this IP that we own, here you go, EA. You, you do, do something. It. This is this is Disney actively like investing money into the company like before they even do anything because they believe that this specific company will get them the foothold in gaming that they've always wanted. Yeah, but the concern there is that since they have a stake in Epic Games, they're going to want all of their IPs to be all over Epic Games stuff. Like they're, right. they're gonna want when they when they think about video games, like, oh, we need a Star Wars game, oh, we need a Marvel game. They're gonna think about Epic first because right. that's where their 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 foothold is. Well, here's and I tweeted this out. Let's this is what Bob Iger said about the the whole thing. He said, When I saw this is gonna be so the most boomer fucking sentence you will hear all day. When I saw Gen Z and Gen Alpha and millennials, the amount of time they spend in terms of total media screen time on video games, it was stunning. Equal <laughs> to what they spend on TV and movies. The conclusion I reached we have to be there. Did you tweet about this? I, I did. It. Yeah, I remember seeing this. Because I said, this is the same guy, and I had this the news article for it. I cite my sources. This is the same guy who closed down Disney Interactive, their in-house video game division, in 2016 because he did not have enough confidence in the business in terms of it being stable enough to stay in it for a self-publishing perspective. Mm -hmm. So 2016, like, what was what's that? Like eight years ago? He didn't believe in Disney's own capability of making video games, so he shut the whole thing down and started farming out the IP to other studios. That's why uh, EA got Star Wars for 10 years. I mean, that's why Sony got Spider-Man, but that's also why uh, Square Enix got Avengers. You know? And yeah. now all of a sudden, he realized kids these days are playing the Fortnite. We got to get in on the Fortnite. I don't understand how these rich old dumb fucks yes <laughs> like they i mean they have they can't be that they can't be stupid because they're it, they're making all this money they're doing some things right you know right uh but 
there's something happens where like you you can see you know from the third person's perspective you're watching it and you're like how the fuck could you be doing it how the fuck could you throw all of that away yeah and i guess in this perspective in this situation with disney they had games and some of them did really good but when they're looking at the paper they're probably like what's this medium that's costing us a lot of money yeah this ain't working out for us. Let's give it to people who could do, who know better, who right. know the medium of video games. So they give it to fucking EA because they see <laughs> on paper that EA makes a shit ton of money, but they don't know that in the world of video games, they make the, god awful games. Yes. <laughs> so they're like, here, you guys figure out, okay. And then they, and then they shit all over it. Yeah. And then Disney's like, wait, 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 wait. We need to pay more attention with gaming because because gaming's got got all of the money. Yeah. You know anything We're, about esports? I yeah. hear esports <laughs> exactly. is, a big, is a big thing right now. I think the partnership with Fortnite specifically, because like when Bob Iger came back, like one of his things was like trying to get like his foot in the metaverse. And I know metaverse, Web three, crypto, esports. AI. Fortnite is probably the closest anyone has come to like a metaverse that works. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in a way he is like, you know, getting in bed with the winner of that arms race to like to create the metaverse. And it doesn't sound like it's going to be like games in the way we normally think of games. Like, I don't think we're getting a, a Mickey Mouse game anytime soon. I don't think this means that we're going to get Kingdom Hearts 4 anytime soon or anything like that. I think this is explicitly creating a, a universe for Disney IP that also connects to Fortnite in some roundabout way. Yeah, I mean, Fortnite is, I mean, at one point was the biggest game in the world, and it still is one of the biggest games in the world. Yeah. Uh, and they are in a position to be their own massive platform of yeah. game. You know, the metaverse, as you said. Yeah, especially now that they have, like, within Fortnite, they have... A Lego game. They have a racing game. They have Rock Band. Yeah, they're it. trying to... I've said this before. They're trying to be Roblox. They're yeah. trying to be the platform where you play other games inside of it. Uh, and that makes sense, and it makes sense for Disney to want to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. uh, buying a stake in it is interesting. Because usually... I mean, these days, we really see companies buying the whole thing. Yeah. Or buying a majority. Uh, buying only 10% is weird. But yeah. again, I think this sets a weird... Uh, this is going to be weird because uh, they're... Gonna now focus on Epic uh, for future projects. Yeah. Well, I mean, they do use Unreal for, like, The Mandalorian and, like, um, the big volume that they have where they film all that shit. That provides the background stuff for it. Um, so they have already invested in Epic before to use Unreal. And now they're, you know, trying to get their toes back into making games themselves, I guess. Yeah. So we'll uh, see how that goes. What published, not published, what, what game studios does Epic own? Harmonix, Psyonix, you know, the Rock Band developers, the Rocket League developers. Uh, I think they own People Can Fly, who made uh, Bulletstorm and uh, Painkiller. Mediatonic, Harmonix, and Psyonix, yeah. yeah. Is that it? I thought, of, in my head, Epic... Ha is like a conglomerate. Uh, so, like, they're still gonna need other studios to make Disney games, right? People, they do own People Can Fly, but they renamed it. Oh no, that, sorry, they named it Epic Games Poland. Oh no, People Can Fly is now independent again. Never mind. They have a deal with Remedy, right? Epic, yeah. I don't know. Well, because because uh, Alan Wake went on. Uh... Oh right. Well, went on the Epic Game Store. Yeah, yeah. But they have like Epic Games has deals with a lot of publishers and stuff. Like I think mm. they have a deal with Ubisoft, and like those games don't necessarily uh... use Unreal. Okay. Well, they do have an Ubisoft game coming out soon. Yeah. So, uh, Flo says, can we exclude the Jedi Survivor games in the shit all over talk? Uh, yes. Yeah. Except that. You need to log into to EA to play the fucking game, yeah. And uh, on on any platform, so it makes it discourages me from playing it every time. Every time I boot the game up, 
realize I have to log in, and then I, 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 the, the fucking, the EA launcher breaks whatever I'm trying to play it on, and then I just can't do it, and then yeah. I give up. Even though I have played it on my Steam Deck before. Right. I played it on my ROG Ally before, but for some reason, that the, the EA store yeah. breaks everything. Also, uh, those games were made by Respawn, which seems to be the only company within EA that knows what they're doing. Because, mm-hmm. you know, they made Titanfall. Those games are great. They made the Jedi games. Those games are great. It's just EA doesn't like them for some uh, reason. Who's working on Apex? Is that might be another Respawn? I think there's two respawn teams. Oh, okay. That would make sense. I might be wrong. Uh, respawn Entertainment. Okay. It says respawn. Probably different divisions inside of respawn. Yeah. But whatever. Uh, anyway. Uh, okay. I'm a little concerned about about Disney going whole hog on any. One yeah, 1.5 billion is a lot of hog. <laughs> to like give to a company to give to a industry that you have in the past said you have no idea what you're doing in there and now all of a sudden you do so they haven't been making good moves <coughs> disney no so uh and it's amazing because like ever since bob Iger came back like the veneer has gone off of him because he used to be like he had this presentation of like he was a very creator forward guy like he gave creatives a lot of leeway to make what they needed to make um that's why he bought like you know his acquisitions of like Pixar, Marvel, Lucasfilm. Like they were all like praises, like good business moves to like help build the Disney portfolio out. And now ever since he's come back, it's just been like, hey, maybe this guy sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Again, I don't know. I mean, you can't always make the right decision. No, no. one person can always be making the right decisions. But uh I mean, when you're the guy who's make who's supposed to be making the company trillions of dollars. Yeah. Um it just seems so obvious from our perspective, you know, as as people who play these games to be like, what are you Yeah. What are you doing? 